It's story time, sunshine. Books read out loud. The Nose Book by Al Perkins and illustrated by Roy McKee. This was originally written in 1970. This is an original. I am so excited to see what the full version of this book sounds like. Let's do this. The Nose Book. Boink! Everybody grows a nose. You see it? Where's your nose? Where's your nose at? His nose is right there. I see a nose on every face. I see noses every place. A nose between each pair of eyes. Noses, noses, every size. They grow on every kind of head. They come in blue and pink and red. Some are very, very long. Some are very, very strong. Ooh. Rip! Everywhere a fellow goes, he sees some new, new kind of nose. Whoa. Everyone's greeting him. A nose is useful. After all, some play horns. Bum, 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 bum. And some play ball. Boink, boink, boink. A nose is good for making holes in trees. Boop, 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 boop. And roofs. Boop, boop. And barber poles. Ooh. But sometimes noses aren't much fun. They sniffle. <laughs> they get burned by sun. Ooh. A nose gets punched. Bow! And bumped on doors. And bumped on walls. And bumped on floors. Sometimes your nose will make you sad. Sometimes your nose will make you mad, but just suppose you had no nose, then you can never smell a rose or pie or chicken a la king. You'd never smell a single thing. And one thing more, suppose no nose, where would all our glasses sit? They'd all fall off. Just think of it. What's that called? No. Yeah. What's that called? That. <laughs> and that's why everybody grows between his eyes some kind of nose. Boink. Aw, look at all those noses. I really enjoyed that. Oh. Yeah? What's your nose called? Nose. Nose. Can you breathe? Smell, smell really deep. 